Hey YouTube, this is Trinity Productions, Trinity Pro Sound, coming to you over the top of a RCF NX 25A powered speaker. So we are going to, again, do one of our take it apart videos on this. And I'm going to step to the side here so you can see how massive this speaker is, two-way 15 inch. Uh, we are going to uh, pull the grill and pull the inner workings of this and uh, and get into it. But first off, I want to go over the spec sheet on this and tell you what this cabinet is all about. Again, it's the RCF NX25A, uh, frequency response of 50 to 20,000, max SPL of 133 dB. It has a horizontal coverage of 90, a vertical of 40. Uh, the crossover point is at 1100 hertz. Uh, the low frequency is a 15 inch driver in this box with a 3 inch voice coil. Has a high frequency driver, a uh, 2 inch Neo with a 3 inch voice coil. The uh, power supply or amplifier to this, 750 watts total RMS, 500 watts to the 15 inch driver, and 250 watts to the high frequency driver, of course limited so that it doesn't push the voice coil out the front of the speaker. So anyway, on the back of it, um, as we're going to turn it around here on our little lazy Susan, um, you can see that we have uh, power con in and out and uh, fuse and that's about it for down here. And then um, we'll go in and show you what the uh, end plate, input plate uh, looks like. Um, on the top of the box here as we will have to move the camera a little bit. So um, stay tuned. We're going to uh, pull the camera up to the input plate and be right back. So now here's our input plate and you can see we've got input and a link through output on that. Uh, we have a sensitivity control and then we also have a contour control um, on the box that uh, kind of gives it a little bit of a, uh, a bass boost presence or just lets it run um, full range and uh, lets this thing sound fantastic um, as it does. There is some um, handles on each side of the speaker and then there's also um, fly points on it. There is fly hardware on the top and the bottom of the box and then also a pole mount socket. Um, this particular cabinet uh, weighs in at uh, about 50 pounds. Um, it is um, beefy, uh, very well constructed. On the front of it here, as we rotate around, you can see that the grill assemblies, um, standard grill um, that they do on all of the um, the NX series monitors uh, and uh, most um, common to the entire uh, RCF line is a good uh, solid 16 gauge grill and then also the foam behind it that kind of hides the drivers and uh, keeps it uh, giving that professional look. So what we're going to do now we will pull the front cover on this and uh, we'll take a look at the 15 inch driver and the construction that is behind the cover and we'll also take a look at the horn uh, inside the box and we will be right back as soon as we get this uh, grill pulled off. Okay. We're back. Just wanted to show you this grill though, um, if we can. Pretty beefy, pretty solid, um, but it's got the foam in the back of it. As you can see, you can kind of see through it, but um, gives it a really nice, um, nice look. So now we've got the drivers exposed and we've got the horn assembly here, ports on each side. This um, horn is um, cast and uh, is of a metal construction. It's not a plastic horn. And then we've got our uh, RCF driver there. Um, so we've got ports on each side. There's nothing as far as in the bottom. Uh, we'll pan the camera down there in a second and let you see what the, uh, the mounting of the 15-inch uh, the driver looks like. As far as the grill is concerned, it's all held on by threaded um, Allen bolts. Uh, so that if the grill needs to come off, uh, you're not going to strip anything out as far as the wood is concerned. And it's got metal inserts um, that are part of the grill that are threaded uh, that allow that grill to attach and uh, 
be very solid um, on the mounting portions. They've got some of the um, rubber stripping um, up at the top and the bottom to, to help secure the grill and keep it from rattling against the wood. So um, we're going to go ahead and pan the camera down here and let you take a look at the 15 inch driver and then we're going to go ahead and get into it and pull the high frequency driver horn out and take a look at the driver on the back of the horn and the inner workings um, of the box. Stay tuned. So there we've got the low frequency driver and you can see that how that is mounted um, into the cabinet just uh, surface mounted and then again this is all has um, Allen bolts on it uh, for taking it apart, taking it out if you need to. And uh, construction on it is kind of turned sideways here and you can see how that's mounted. There is some bracing here for the grill on both sides and then there's a bracing area down there on the bottom and also up on the top um, for the speaker so that the grill is um, mounted nice and solid uh, against the face of the cabinet. So we're going to go ahead, stop the video here and pull the horn and be back before you know it. Okay, so we've got all of the, um, the screws out and again they are threaded so that if anything should happen um, you can take them in and out fairly easily and don't have to worry about stripping the wood out. So that's kind of what sets these boxes as you get into the NX series and some of the higher end boxes um, from other manufacturers that um, RCF uses all quality components. So we've got the horn um, undone and I'm going to just turn this sideways so I can get in here and pull this assembly out. But as you hear that ring, it is cast aluminum and now you can see the magnitude of the driver on this. It is um, uh, not sure, yeah, probably ceramic um, magnet on this just due to the weight. Um, but the, um, the driver is just absolutely massive, um, bolted through, secured to the horn assembly. And then as we kind of lower this down here and let you see inside the box, there is a support in there to hold the horn and the driver so that it doesn't go anywhere. So that's built in uh, to the box uh, so that it adds some additional bracing. And then as you look further in there, you can see the... Uh, the digital amplifier um, inside the box itself. So um, we're going to go ahead and pull the wires on this so we can just keep pulling the box apart and exposing more and more of it. So um, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the um, low frequency driver pulled out and we're going to go ahead and pan into it. So here we are and looking at the uh, low frequency driver. I'm going to hold this as we got all of the threaded screws out of it so I can pull this out because this thing is beef. So there we have it. It is massive. It is a cast frame 15 inch woofer ceramic magnet. It does have a vent hole um, in the back of it to help with cooling. Um, I am going to go ahead and pull the connection wires off here and show you this. Turn it around and it does have push on connections, um, RCF driver, and uh, you can just kind of see the little push on connections here. But um, this thing is um, extremely heavy with a ceramic magnet. and. Uh, we did fire this up um, prior to taking it apart and listen to it, and that is one of the reasons why it has such fantastic um, bass response. So as we turn the cabinet back now, you can see all of the internal bracing and some of the um, absorption and dampening material inside the box, and then the leads that are coming off of the amplifier. You can see the pole mount socket there um, in the bottom of the box and then all of the internal bracing on what they've done to really help with this cabinet to stiffen it and I'm sure provide some uh, acoustic tuning inside the, uh, the box as well. So we're going to um, open up the back of it and pull the digital amp out and take a look at that. So uh, we're going to end up pausing the video here and be back shortly.
Okay, so now we've got all of the threaded screws out of the amplifier. And again, I'm going to just rotate this thing just a little bit so I can pull this last Allen nut threaded screw out. And now there we have it, our entire amplifier assembly, the digital amp, um, switch mode power supply um, on this cooling fan, and then also the DSP circuitry. Um, what I'm going to do is show you the close-up um, of the uh, input section of the, uh, the amplifier and show you what um, that's all about here. Okay, so what we've got on the amplifier here, and I'll get close to the camera, we've got input, output, we have the sensitivity control, and then we also have the Contour control, which is, um, I had to look at it, um, which is for the low end. And then we also have whether it's being used um, on the floor or um, on its side. And, uh, and then we also have indicators up here for um, power status that it's working, that it'll give you a green status light. And then also the, uh, the signal light. And then it also has a red LED on there um, should it go into clipping. So um, that's the whole input DSP section of this uh, NX25, M25A speaker uh, from RCF, made in Italy. So um, in turning around back here, you can see the uh, onboard DSP section there. And then all of the um, digital amplifier, you really can't see a lot because it's all kind of sealed up power supply section there and the um, inputs and chokes and things on the um, on the power and then the leads coming out to go to the uh, high frequency driver and low frequency driver. So incorporating a um, fan um, on it to keep it cool and um, we've had uh, excellent excellent results with all of the digital amplifiers from RCF. Um, as well as from DB Technologies. Um, they just take a licking and keep on kicking. Um, we've had uh, some of our digital amps on our uh, T4 cabinets sit in the summer heat here in Northern California in the valley, um, right in the direct sun of the afternoon in the summertime that I swear you could fry an egg on them and they just kept on working solid. So um, there's very good proven technology behind these um, amplifiers uh, in these boxes that they will get um, extremely warm that you think they're going to fail and they will just keep on working. So anyway, there you have it. We're going to put this box back together and uh, play a little bit of music through it, make sure we've got everything going okay. But there you have the RCF NX M25A two-way cabinet with a... Uh, 2-inch high-frequency driver and a 15-inch low-frequency driver. Stay tuned. Just wanted to show you, here is the side handles. Um, they are kind of rubberized on the inside, so they provide a really um, good positive grip as we're putting this back together. One of the things that is notable um, on the amplifier here is I was putting it back in. There is a rubber gasket um, all the way around as this amplifier goes back on the box, completely seals it up so that it... Uh, provides a um, pretty much an airtight seal um, around the back of the amplifier for the, uh, the speaker. So anyway, we're going to continue assembly. As we've got this back together, one of the other um, noteworthy, noteworthy features of this box, depending on how it's oriented in an install, um, is that the horn is rotatable um, so that you can pull this out, rotate the horn um, to how the configuration is going to go so that you can maintain that 90 by 40 um, display angle um, for uh, for a permanent install hanging from the ceiling or wherever it's going to go, maybe mounted on a wall or something like that. So um, another key feature of this NX M25A box. So we are back. We are all together on this, and we put it back together right. We've got great music coming out of it. So uh, take one of these for a test drive. Give us a call. We are dealers, and uh, the RCF NX line is a, uh, a premium line uh, for RCF right next to their TT series, Touring and Theater. 
Um, the construction on this box is fantastic. The sound of it, believe it or not, when we first fired it up, it was just like, oh my goodness. The thing gets extremely loud, extremely clear. Uh, I would estimate that with two of these boxes per side next to a stage, an outdoor venue, maybe not at full rock levels, um, from what we've experienced with other speakers uh, and the event we've done here locally, six to seven hundred people with no problem coupled with subwoofers. It's a great full range box um, with a contour set, the low end uh, reproduction on it. Uh, if you don't accompany it with a subwoofer is absolutely awesome. So anyway, there you have it. RCF NX M25A two-way 15 inch box brought to you by Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Look us up on the web at trinityprosound.com. Um, and our phone number right here, 209-832-8023. Or you can email us at info at trinityprosound.com. And if you've got any questions on the RCF line, DB Technologies, anything ProSound related, we are dealers for over 45 different um, particular uh, pro sound lines, microphones, mixer boards, um, you name it. So give us a call. We'd love to help you out with uh, any of your pro sound needs. Um, we'll make you a killer deal. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Uh, we will have more videos posted uh, in the next week or so.